Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's session, we are going to discuss about one of the very effective application that is Microsoft Bookings. So as you know, like Microsoft uh, 365 business or any other product uh, is mission to make your work effective and a better collaborative way. So this application is just an addition to that, which is uh, which allows you to schedule your appointments, your client calls, meetings, in a very effective and managed way and this is well connected with the other office 365 products like sharepoint power automate so you can have the integration between uh, teams ms teams your outlook calendar everywhere so this is under the same microsoft 365 suite but it just comes with the business package if you are having already having microsoft 365 business uh, package or subscription then you would able to directly use this MS, uh, MS booking uh, application. So we'll just take a live tour how this application looks like and uh, how you can integrate this with the other pieces of uh, this Office 365 environment. So I'm on, I'm on office.com and if you just click on this you would And if you just click on this menu and then uh, you would able to see available apps which you frequently used and I recently used this bookings one but if you don't see that then you can just click on my apps all apps and you can just start typing so this booking app would come up so when you click on this one so if you are using this for the first time then you would be given a pop-up where you have to specify your business name. So consider an example, you are a part of big organization and uh, you are a part of specific product sales team. Then you would like to make uh, your, these meetings fall under one specific uh, group, I would say. <coughs> so you can just uh, uh, name that as based on the product sales. So you can say like laptop sales and create those meeting calendar for you. So there could be number of other other groups or the collect uh, uh, these groups under this booking. So you can write, you can create your own one. So for example, I created this XMIT for myself. And once that is created, you will be landed over here on this page. So where you'll just receive this message and what is new within the teams. So you'll see all the widgets you can add buffer time, customize your page. So all these things are a new addition to this booking application you can also add up your logo like if you are a sales team if you are having a specific logo then you can add up and recently microsoft has added a new visual experience to it so if i just uh, turn that on so from the right hand side try the new bookings so it will just land me throw me a new altogether a new ui where i could directly see my bookings in a calendar format and i can see all my this uh, other stuff customer information and services in the left navigation but i am turning it on so that we can just go one by one with each and everything so i am just going back to my home page so this booking activities last 30 days you would be looking at you will be giving some sort of like basic high level analytics over here number of bookings made estimated revenue customer booked sort of that stuff so for whom this is beneficial for the salespeople or for the people who actually like indulge in a face to face meeting, for example, if you're a part of even HR team and where you would like to schedule interviews for your uh, hiring manager and as well as for your interviewers and interviews, then you can just use this bookings very effectively. And the, the good piece of it is like it allows you to manage all your customers and the relative services in a in a very structured format so we have separate separate tabs or the pages where you can directly see what your existing customers what your existing staff so for example if your sales team you can put up add up your staff like specific team members which you would like to include while having a meeting with your customer or like while you want uh, that uh, their calendar to be blocked per any specific meeting 
So this home page we have already talked about calendar. It shows a quick view like uh, for your entire staff, like what is booked for what uh, time for which time. So you can have a like uh, view over here. You can change the view as work view, work week. So you would see all the meetings work, uh, the weekly meetings over here. So it's a pretty standard and simple thing to look at booking page. So this uh, custom page which will allow you to like do some customization at your level so for example if you would like to have this uh, your customers or your uh, this staff members who have only the Microsoft 360 account then only they can book and you can have this setting enabled otherwise you can set up the external users as well and once you set up schedule the meeting if you turn on this notification and send a meeting invite then this uh, MS team meeting invite would be sent to your uh, customers as well as your staff members. And there are many other settings, for example, setting for when customers can book service. So you can just allow customers to book the services and the lead time you can specify like how uh, they can like prior to one day or 30 minutes or like whatever time you would like to set, you can set and you can customize a bit look and feel of your this uh, booking application and if you would like to just uh, customize your this availability then you can do that so for example if you just uh, work in a different hours then you can just set up your hours and working times over here so that the booking would only allow to show the available slots within this time period only and if you are working on Saturdays and Sundays, then you can put that up as well. So pretty standard booking page. So it's a setting page for you. And once you save and publish it, it will be uh, available. All the settings would be available. And simply you can manage your customers in this customers area where you can just simply add a new customer, first name, last name, email, and all the details which you would like to put and if you are like uh, booking doing one booking while creating booking you can also add customers directly so it's just like it will show the all the customers in at one place you can add it delete and uh, manage your customers from the screen and the next tab is the staff so staff as i said like it's uh, your team your uh, your team members whom you want would like to be have availability for the meetings and would like to include them for the meetings then you can put your member over here so you can add up your staff by this uh, page and you can just uh, start because these staff should be in your office which your business uh, can search them as well this is how you would able to find out your staff and saving it will create one entry for them and services okay so this services you know like this uh, initial services will always always be this initial consultation but you can add up your services so for example you are meeting for business development sales of laptops so you can create this service you can set up the location you can set up the duration and maximum attendees and if this is a fixed price and let's say it's because you are meeting and these are just ten dollars meeting price if you would like to set up or then sort of that information you can just put in and publish this service and you can also assign the staff from over here so i'm just saving it so that i can be able to use this service while doing booking so now coming back to booking a new appointment so you can just go to a calendar simply and you can just simply select which service you would like to pick and i am picking this business development and who's your customer so i said uh, it's a new customer so i just added this and there is no lookup for that customer so it will just add that new customer and under my customer database so you can just add up more other details and you can also like set up the time service details already being in drop down you can change it from here as well and you can set up the time service location fixed price is this this was by default but uh, let's say for this customer you would like to change as a free you can do that and add 
an email reminder. So you can just add up a gentle reminder to attend the meeting. So now once you save this So it's giving me that go back and add stuff because I forgot to add my stuff to this meeting. So I'll just add up my stuff. I'm just choosing these people. And this once I choose this and save. So my this uh, calendar would be booked for these people. Okay, so you must be seeing that I am getting error. Sorry, couldn't have this save the email even because these people are off on Saturdays and I am recording this video on Saturday. That's why it's not allowed to update. So I can just simply uncheck and go back to my this uh, just I'm saving anyway and go back to my uh, this staff settings. I'm under my staff. I'm choosing my staff and so I'm just un selecting this use business hours and just saying that Saturday is also working and saving it. So now I can go back to my calendar and I can just again like start booking that. Now you see the first one, this first person is no conflicts because I have changed the settings of that person to be available on Saturday. So there's a quick way of to looking at the uh, conflicts as well. Like if that uh, already there is some meeting is being set up then you would get an, uh, this red uh, notification that that person is not available so it's a quick way I choose and once you click on save it will save the meeting and you can also try like booking it up in a, with a new way try the new bookings so if I just enable that it just changed me the layout of my this screen where you can see like I have this calendar and this uh, in filters I have this services staffs, customers, the same thing but in a new look and feel. If you would like to book from over here, you can just simply click and select your service from this drop down and let me just uh, create this booking for next week and you can see like all my staff is available. I can pick any one of them and once I keep checking up this, then it's keep adding to this people field. And it's, it's much more intuitive than the previous UI. So you can just set up your, this customer. And once you click on create booking, it will create an entry into your calendar. So I'll just uh, change this view to this weekly view, work view, so that we can have a look on the bookings for next week. So you can see like I have this business development sales for laptop and this, this with customer John P. So this is how with this simple booking application you can schedule your all your appointments very effectively and while scheduling you can set up you can pass on the team's uh, meeting link so that you can if not in person then you can have the uh, meetings virtually over the teams you can have your this appointments created into Outlook calendar. You can have your appointments created into or short stored into SharePoint list. But for all these connections, MS Teams, SharePoint list and Outlook, we have to rely on Power Automate. So this application is also very much tied up, very much available into the Power Automate. So if I just go to the flow.microsoft.com and if I just start searching for this uh, bookings ms bookings then it will give me sort of existing available templates for this booking and other integration you can see like create an event in office 365 calendar once appointment is done on this ms booking application so there are many like post a message to microsoft teams when booking is made so these are connectors so if we want like we can go over these connectors one by one in our upcoming sessions uh, if you feel like like storing the business leads into SharePoint list and then creating booking appointments from whenever an item is created into SharePoint then uh, we, we can cover that piece into a, our next videos and uh, stay tuned for that and if you find this application booking application as intuitive and uh, very effective for you 
do drop your comments so that's it for today if you have not subscribed please subscribe